Okay, so right now we're looking at a standard base uh, cabinet that happens to be a three drawer base. Uh, it's frameless style. So we want to just identify the parts and so we can understand what it is that we're building here. We've got, obviously we've got a right side and a left side again. Um, we have a bottom or in cabinet visions parlance they call it a deck for a base cabinet. So it's either the deck or the bottom of the cabinet. And then we have one, two, three stretchers. Uh, so you have your middle, two middle stretchers and a top stretcher. Uh, make up the front of this cabinet and then uh, looking at the top of the cabinet you'll see that there's a rear top stretcher as well and this rear top stretcher will actually have the dado groove in it so you'll be able to know it, it's the right part for that place it has a groove for the back in the uh, underside of that top stretcher so two top stretchers two middle stretchers a that's what makes up the top of the cabinet, all right? Uh, again, we've used uh, compromat screws and staples to assemble this cabinet. So we've got five compromats across the bottom and then two in each of the top and bottom stretchers, two on each side of the middle stretchers, okay? Uh, looking at the back, you've got a recessed back, a three-quarter inch recessed, uh, excuse me, a quarter inch back recessed by three quarters of an inch and it looks like we uh, didn't get the top stretcher that would also be the nailer installed. So there should be in this position right here a nailer uh, behind the back and that's what we're going to use to uh, attach the cabinet to the wall whip. A uh, quarter inch is not sufficient to uh, sufficiently strong to hold the back cabinet to the wall. All right. Looking at the inside of the cabinet, you can see, is that a good angle there? So we've got the tandem pull, uh, pull extension, bottom mounted drawer tracks. They're actually mounted on the side of the drawer, but the bottom of the drawer sits on top of the track. So uh, we've got, those are installed in the um, pre-drilled uh, assembly holes that Cabinet Vision has uh, located for us. So each of these tracks will be held in place by a five millimeter uh, Euro. Euro screw that will mount directly into the, um, the track and mount it to the side of the cabinet. Okay, uh, we already have drawer boxes for this cabinet so I'm going to go ahead and slide them in and the drawer fronts are attached as well so we're going to be looking at essentially a completed cabinet once we get these drawers on. So that's one of the things I love about the tandem system is installing drawers once you have the hardware mounted to them is pretty easy. I think maybe we should look at the bottom of the drawer. Um, you look at the locking devices that are attached to the front of the drawer box and these particular mounting devices are, have locking devices have side to side adjustment in them as well as up and down adjustment in them right here. So this little ramp style uh, device on the side of the locking device gives you up and down mounting or adjustment and this, these two dials here give you left right adjustment. Looking at the back of the drawer, you'll see that the drawer box has to be mounted, I mean notched and then drilled so that it can be attached to the uh, drawer track too. So these are, this is called notching and drilling. We've, we've pre-manufactured that so that it will fit over the drawer track. And there you have your drawer fronts attached to the base cabinet. Okay.